Hi, it's John. I've been looking at um, how many words per minute is the perfect voice. Not the perfect voice, but it seems like words per minute is becoming quite an important thing on on the internet. You know, BBC News Channel and things like that. And D News, I watch D News quite a lot. And uh, they speak very fast on there. And I've noticed some something strange happening to some people's videos. Anyway, here's what it said on the BBC website in 2008. Formula, secret of perfect voice. Researchers say they have worked out a mathematical formula to find the perfect human voice. The study commissioned by the Post Office Telecom asked people to rate 50 voices, then analysed the results. It found the best female voice to be a mixture of... Uh, Mariella Frostrup and Judy Dench and Honor Blackman, Alan Rickworth and Jeremy Irons did best for men. Anyway, we've got an example here. Let's click on that, shall we? The perfect voice. Here we come. Let me arrow from here. We are. According to scientists, I have the perfect voice. My delicate blend of frequency, words per minute, pauses between sentences and intonation makes my voice very easy on the ears. Ah, well, you know, it's nice if you have got the perfect voice, but uh, it's not that easy to change it if you haven't. Let's have a listen to this other one. According to scientists, I have the perfect voice. My delicate blend of frequency, words per minute, Pauses between sentences and intonation makes my voice very easy on the ear. Well, didn't think much of that voice. According to scientists, I have the perfect voice. My intonation and my speed is very delicate on the ear. So I'm very lucky to have the perfect voice. The ideal voice should utter no more than... 164 words per minute and pause for 0.48 seconds between sentences. Sentences themselves should fall faster, should fall rather than rise in intonation. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. She sells sea shells on the seashore. Do people watch D News? I mean, it's uh, it's very interesting the news, but they do not speak at a rate. Now I remember this one. This gentleman is obviously reading from Auto Q, and um, he he he's not that good at it. I think the girls are better at it than the blokes. But let's put him on this one down on the bottom. Bottom right here. Bacteria are fascinating little creatures. Some make us sick, some make us well, some keep us happy or healthy. So how do we program them to do our evil bidding? <laughs> now here's another guy. Um, he seems to be struggling with the auto cue. The barren rock and blandness I thought it was going to be. Hi there, I'm Ian O'Neill, space producer for Discovery News, and today I'm at YouTube Space in LA to talk a little bit about NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto and some Kuiper Belt awesomeness. As you may have... Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. She sells seashells on the seashore. Well, there we go. It's amazing what computers can do nowadays, isn't it? I mean, you know, normally when you speed stuff up, speed a voice up, you get that sort of pinky and perky sound, don't you? But uh, they've managed to sort of do a thing where you can speed it up now um, without getting the pinky and perky. That's good, isn't it? Uh, but it does make... 
you sound a person sound a little bit um, impatient when you speed it up but it's good it's good and of course you can listen back to videos now people who are very laborious and speed them up a bit you know, so you can watch videos um, a lot quicker Every bit speedy speedy the world is speeding up we've got to keep up with it right bye for now